Let's get in there, guys. Two, one, two, three. Okay, stretch to this side, stretch to this side. Right. Right. In the heart of the South African wilderness, an adrenaline fueled adventure unravels as Dr. William Folds and his team set out on a mission to capture eight buffalo bulls. Cape buffalo are one of the most dangerous animals in Africa, killing about 200 people every year. Their unpredictable nature, sheer strength and herd mentality create a potentially life-threatening situation for these wildlife vets. They will capture and auction the buffaloes to other reserves to foster good genetic diversity. Dr. William Folds is an expert in darting buffalo from a helicopter, a task that requires immense skill, precision and focus. He works closely with a skilled pilot to navigate the rugged terrain, while aiming for the perfect spot to deliver the tranquilizer. Their seamless collaboration ensures the safety of both the team and the buffalo. The first buffalo succumbs to the powerful sedative, ensuring a safe approach for the ground crew. There you are, they found another buffalo. Dr. Folds darted another big bull. We're just going to try and make our way around there quickly. Uh, we have about 10 minutes and we'll be there. Armed with specialized equipment to transport the animals, they approach the sleeping buffalo. They measure the width and length of its impressive horns, indicators of its strength and age. The team conducts thorough health checks, monitoring the buffalo's blood oxygen, heart rate and temperature. They also inject a dose of essential vitamins to help maintain the animal's well-being. Failing to proactively maintain genetic diversity in wildlife populations increases their susceptibility to diseases, reduces fertility, and compromises survival rates due to inbreeding. They balance the urgency of their task with the utmost care for the animals. Before lifting them onto transport trucks, the team needs to treat any injuries the buffalo may have. Okay, so this guy's had a, could be a stick, but it could also be a horn that's gone in here, it's part of a fight. Luckily, it hasn't penetrated through into his eye. Feels like there might be some maggots in the bottom of this. I'll just get Candace to put some in before we wake him up. A little healer. They find no serious injuries and think this buffalo's eye will heal. Transporting African buffalo takes a significant amount of manpower. <laughs> and sometimes machines. Six guys are okay. One, two. One, two, three. I'm learning, I'm calling Obama. I'm looking to see. Fine, we'll bring him now. Yeah. We'll roll him as far as we can. Okay. Now get this front leg on, then we're going to roll it back. Okay, let's get that back leg. Okay, try and get it on, otherwise we're going to roll him your way. Okay, Moy. Let's roll him your way and then we're going to pull this leg out. Okay. Cranes hoist the sedated buffalo, each weighing up to a ton on sturdy, custom-built stretchers. They are designed to accommodate the buffalo's size and weight, providing a secure and comfortable means of transport. The professionals work diligently to minimize stress on the animals while prioritizing safety and efficiency. As the buffalo begins to wake up, the team remains vigilant, monitoring the animal's breathing and watching for any signs of distress, such as coughing or regurgitation. Is 
These indicators can point to potentially lethal complications. Only when the buffalo can lift its head and stand does the team know it's safe to proceed. The buffaloes are driven to a holding facility, which could take up to an hour. They must be moved quickly and be kept cool. Dr. Folds and his team navigate the wild, capturing one buffalo after another. One, two, three, two. Okay. He must go, he must go, 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 Vets will test them for various diseases, holding them in these pens for up to two months before selling them at auction. Okay, are we ready to work? Yeah. Dr. Folds administers a reversal drug to counteract the sedative. Okay, so nice veins on these ears. There's a vein. Gotta be careful of this one, it often is an artery. I just definitely feel a pulse there. Go, go, Candice. Dr. Folds and his team must be prepared for any unexpected events. This buffalo has escaped its enclosure. The crew develops a new plan to safely immobilize and secure the animal once again. What's the problem? Because Dr. Folds has already reversed the tranquilizer once, he has to use a stronger sedative now. His final move proves to be the most dangerous and difficult. It takes a second dose of the sedative to bring the buffalo down. But now it's situated in a hard to reach area and must be pulled out from the bushes. We need the comp. Come on, Jolas, I'm a daughter, one, two. One, two. One, two, three. Oh, my God. Too much speed, too much speed. One, two. One, one, two. From darting the buffaloes in the early morning to the tense chase at the end of the day. This capture operation showcases the expertise and commitment of the wildlife vets and their team. These operations highlight the importance of relocation efforts at reserves across Africa, ensuring good genetic diversity and the success of buffalo populations within the larger savanna ecosystem. <laughs> <laughs> 